now the Jell-O family presents... Henry! Henry Aldrich! Coming, Mother! Yes, it's the Aldrich family, based on characters originated by Clifford Goldsmith and starring Ezra Stone as Henry with Jackie Kelk as Homer. And yes, it's the Jell-O family with its three famous desserts. Jell-O in those six delicious flavors, Jell-O puddings with that old-fashioned homemade flavor, and Jell-O tapioca puddings, a miracle of goodness, a marvel of speed. Everyone's a Jell-O good fellow, a very good Jell-O good fellow, so rich, so tempting and mellow, J-E-L-L-O. And now for the Aldrich family. It's difficult to imagine, and even more difficult to remember, either a neighborhood or a home without a typical teenage boy somewhere in it. Henry Aldrich, for instance, is always right in the center of everything. The scene opens in the Aldrich front hall. It is mid-morning. I'm coming. Well, Willie Marshall. Hi, Mr. Aldrich. Did you know it's snowing cats and dogs outside? It's also snowing cats and dogs inside. Come in so I can shut the door. Sure. I've got special rates for shoveling the last snow of the year, Mr. Aldridge. A dollar an hour. A dollar? That shocks you? It does. Well, uh, did I mention I have an easy payment plan? Willie, no plan could make paying a dollar an hour easy. But for snow, that's dirt cheap. No, thank you. Besides, it isn't necessary to hire anyone. Henry's already out there shoveling our driveway. He is? Yes, he started nearly an hour ago. Well, gee, I guess the snow's coming down so fast I couldn't see him. So, thank you, just the same. Well, that's okay. Would uh, Would you like some firewood hole? No, thanks. Lamps rewired? No, thanks. How about having your house repainted? <laughs> what? I have a tie-in with an uncle. No, thank you, Willie. And now, if you'll excuse me, I'm helping Mr. Brown make out his income tax return. Okay, I'll move along. Uh, here, Mr. Aldridge. What's this? My card. So long. <laughs> Goodbye. Say, Sam. I'm coming, Will. I've been looking over these exemptions. There must be a typographical error. That's impossible. But, Sam, according to this form, all I'm allowed to deduct for Homer is $600. That's right. After all I go through, Sam, it isn't fair. Yes, Alice? Don't you think he's been out there long enough? Who? Henry, he'll be simply worn to nothing, shoveling all that heavy snow. I'll get the phone, Mother. Thank you, Mary. Alice, don't worry about Henry. Boys have been shoveling ever since the first snowfall. But when we had his tonsils out, Dr. Bennington warned us not to let Henry overexert. Henry was three years old then. Dear, it's the easiest thing in the world to have a relapse. Mr. Brown, that phone calls for you. Me? And here's your pot of hot chocolate, Mother. Thanks, Mary. Here's Sam. I'll be right back. You know I don't care for hot chocolate. Dear, I want you to take it out to Henry. Alice. Sam, it's energy food. Hello? Will, this is Elizabeth. Who? Elizabeth Brown, your wife. Oh, yes, Elizabeth. Is Homer over there at the Aldrich's? Of course not. He's shoveling snow off our driveway. Well, I did see a dark object out there. But I thought it was a trash can. Elizabeth, it's about time you began to recognize the difference between your own son and a trash can. Yes, dear. And, Will, you know how the poor boy suffers from sinus. Only when there's work to be done. But, dear... Elizabeth, let's not coddle Homer. Will, is that Elizabeth on the phone? Now, hold on a second, Elizabeth. Tell her to tell Henry to come right home and to be quick about it. Is Henry at our house? Well, he's not here and our driveway hasn't been touched. Elizabeth, how many trash cans did you see outside? (laughs) One. What? Henry isn't at our house, Sam. That's a fine thing. Alice, where's Henry? Were you calling I, Father? Henry Aldrich, where did you come from? The basement. And, Father, did you know our aluminum snow shovel has disappeared? Henry, we gave that to the government in 1942. We did? Gee whiz, what for? We were fighting a war. With our snow shovel? (laughs) Henry. But, Father, the one I'm using weighs a ton. No alibis, Henry. If Homer's clearing away the brown snow, the least you can do is clear ours. Homer is? That's right, Henry. Homer? Did someone call me? Homer! Father. So, you were the trash can after all. What? Why aren't you at home shoveling snow? Because I'm going to help Henry, then he's coming over to help me. Oh. 
I don't say. Sure. Boy, if there's one thing two people can do faster, it's driveways. Very well, then. Suppose you start. Yeah. Now? Now. Before we find a lighter shovel. Homer, start shoveling. Yes, Father. But gee whiz, you've never seen the snow that weighed so much. Come on, Will. Let's get back to your income tax. Uh, Father? Father, did I mention the weather report I heard on the radio? What about it? They predicted we're practically sure to have sun tomorrow. Yes? Or by Saturday at the latest. Good, hot sun. Well? Nothing. I just thought I'd mention it. <laughs> you know what our trouble is, Ham? Our wives coddle those boys too much. Not this time, Will. This time, Henry's going to finish that job. Right, Sam. Homer, too. Father, Mother just put on her boots and shawl, and your old Mackinac went out to the driveway. What for? That's what I was wondering. She was carrying the coal shovel. What? Alice! Alice, come back in here. Listen, Henry, be careful. What I do now? What'd you do? What'd you do? Look at the space I cleared in your driveway. What space? That's just it. You threw a shovel full of snow over here, and there goes 15 minutes of work. Homer, with this shovel, that's as far as I can throw it. I've been thinking, Henry. How much snow do we take up with each shovel for? Six inches at the most. So what? So if we take one shovel every ten seconds, do you know how long we'll be? How long? I don't know. But I have a date with Agnes tonight, and by the time we're through, I won't be in shape for anything. Homer, what can we do? Use our brain. You think that's practical? I mean like Tom Sawyer. Who? Remember, he got this kid to think whitewashing was so much fun, he did the fence for him and gave Tom an apple besides. Homer, those things only happen in books. Who'd be dumb enough to fall for a thing like that? Hiya, fellas. Oh, boy, here's somebody who's dumb enough. Charlie Clark. Start enjoying yourself, Henry. Start enjoying yourself. Homer, it won't work. We can at least try. Boy, Henry, did you ever have so much fun? We. Henry. What? We. Oh. <coughs> we. <coughs> we. What's up, fellas? Charlie, don't stop us. Boy, are we having fun. Fun? Homer, have you got sunstroke or something? Gee whiz, no. Wee! 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 Oh, boy. Homer, what happened? Oh, boy. Homer, why are you bent over? It's nothing, Charlie. Didn't you ever laugh so hard you couldn't straighten up? Henry, does he mean he's really enjoying shoveling snow? Oh, sure. You know what I think? What? You guys sure have sunstroke, all right. So long. Charlie, wait. Imagine thinking a thing like shoveling snow is fun. But it is, Charlie. Look. <coughs> we. Homer, he's gone. We. <laughs> I told you it only worked in books, Homer. Well, all I can say is that's a good example of our entire school system. What is? Tom Sawyer. They give you a book like that to read, and when you put it to work, what happens? No wonder I flunked French. French? What's that got to do with Tom Sawyer? It's all tied together, Henry. It's all tied together. Come on, we'd better get back to shoveling, or we'll never get done. Okay. Uh, we. Homer, never mind weeing. Oh, I forgot. Uh. Boy, did you ever shovel heavier snow? Hiya, fellas. Who's that? Willie Marshall. Keep shoveling. Hiya, fellas. What you doing? <sighs> yes. Okay. Shoveling snow? You win, Willie. Now would you like to do me a favor? What? Jump in the lake. I can't. It's frozen. Oh, boy. I can crack a joke as well as the next guy. <laughs> Willie, for the last time, beat it and let us finish. So you guys wouldn't consider... Consider what? Gee, no, I guess you wouldn't. Wouldn't what? Well, you guys look like you're having so much fun. I, I was wondering if you'd let me try for a while. What? You mean you want a shovel? I guess you wouldn't consider it, huh? Sure we would. Oh, well, here, Willie, try mine. Well, gee, thanks. Here, hold this package. Wee! Henry, do you suppose he's got sunstroke? <laughs> Wee! Well, well, thanks for letting me try, fellas. Here, here's your shovel. You're quitting? When you've just started to enjoy yourself? 
Gee, I really don't want to quit. Only, only I have to deliver this package to my Aunt Mildred, see? And I... Willie, you mean you're going to let a little thing like your Aunt Mildred stand between you and the most fun you've ever had in your life? Well, gee, what can I do? Willie, uh, uh, look, Willie, suppose Homer and I deliver the package for you. You would, fellas, you'd really do that for me? Gee, it'd be a pleasure, Willie. Here's your shovel back. Well, gee, thanks. Her name's Mrs. Hopkins on Maple Street. Sure, we know. Come on, Homer. Well, thanks again, fellas. You're welcome, Willie. Boy, Henry, it just shows how you can misjudge people. Here I've been going through life thinking Willie was one of the smartest guys around. I'll say. And you know what I'm going to do when I get home? What? Read Tom Sawyer again. Maybe there's something in there that can help my French. Hi, Mrs. Hopkins. Hi, Mrs. Hopkins. Well, come in, boys. I thought you were my nephew, Willie. I've been expecting him all morning. Well, that's the whole thing, Mrs. Hopkins. What is? Uh, Willie got sort of tied up in a little deal and sent us over instead. You're taking his place? Oh, sure. Here's your package, Mrs. Hopkins. Package? Oh, that must be. Uh, wait here. I'll be right back. Wait, Mrs. Hopkins? She was. Why does she want us to wait? She probably wants to give us a little something for delivering the package. Oh, boy. You mean we're getting paid to boot? Homer, if she gives us money, naturally, we won't keep it. Why not? Because if anyone really deserves it, it's good old Willie. With all the fun he's having. <laughs> here you are, boys. Uh, the brushes are here in the package, and... But, 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 Mrs. Hopkins, what's in this can? Whitewash. Whitewash? Whitewash. Well, didn't you say you were taking Willie's place? Well, sure, only... Well, that's why he was coming over, to whitewash my basement. What? Oh, boy. Henry, we've been swindled. Sam, what are you doing over there by the window? Just checking on the boys, Will. Oh, Homer doesn't look as though he's wheezing, does he? I can only see one of them from here. Which one? It's hard to tell, but he seems to be shoveling right along. You know, Sam, it sure makes you feel good knowing your son has learned to really stick on the job. That's right, Will. Yes, sir, it just goes to show you, Sam, that a mother's a mother, but a father... Well, Sam, every boy really needs a father. After all, who else can teach him how to finish whatever he starts? Uh, Will, speaking of finishing what you start, let's get back to your tax return. Ah, right, my return. Well, where were we? On Schedule D, page 2. Have you got it? Yeah. Sam, why don't I just tell them how much money I've got left over and let the government take what it needs? Sam, can you answer the front door? Very well, Alice. We'll start totaling your deductions. Oh, but, Sam, that's where I really go to pieces. Hi, Mr. Aldridge. Willie, you have already asked me. We don't need our plumbing fixed. Our furnace is fine. Well, she was Mr. Aldridge. I'm not here for that. No? Come in. I've got a path cleared from the sidewalk to your back door, Mr. Aldridge. What? Uh, naturally, that's for free, but if I make it wide enough to get your car out, don't you think I'm entitled to a little something extra? Willie, may I ask why you are doing our driveway? I, I made sort of a deal with Henry and Homer. You don't say? Yes, sir. You, you look upset, Mr. Aldridge. Upset? If you are, naturally, considering the circumstances, I wouldn't think of charging you full price. Willie, it won't be necessary for you to clear our driveway. But, Mr. Aldrich, I made a bargain with the boys. The boys were in no position to make such a bargain. You may go home, Willie. Well, gee, if you say so, Mr. Aldrich. I say so. Well, if you say so, goodbye. Goodbye. And if you ever need your pipe thought out or anything Yes, like Willie, I have your card. <laughs> goodbye. Uh, Sam. Yes, Will, I'm coming. I can't figure out what... Sam, you look awful. Did you fall down the front steps? That would have been a pleasure. What? Well, the night Henry was born and I found out he was a boy, I had to pinch myself to make sure it was true. But I never realized I'd go through life pinching myself for the same reason. What's Henry done now? And it isn't only Henry. Well, you might as well sit down and start pinching yourself, too. <laughs> And now, while Mr. Aldrich and Mr. Brown are pinching themselves, let's listen to Meredith Wilson and his talking people. Oh, intermission, intermission. Meredith, we just love intermission. Oh, you do? Well, why, may I ask? 
Because it's so short. I see. In less than a minute, we'll be back with Henry and Homer. Shall we dance? Of course. The Jell-O family's famous tapioca polka. Jell-O, vanilla tapioca. Jell-O, chocolate tapioca. Jell-O, orange. That means orange. Coconut. Jell-O vanilla tapioca. Rich, luscious vanilla. Jell-O chocolate tapioca. Candy good chocolate. And Jell-O orange coconut tapioca. Tangy, refreshing orange combined with tropical coconut. But um, I don't think you'll like them. Oh, yes, yes we, we will. No, oh, no, you won't. Oh, yes, we will. No, oh, no, you won't. Oh, yes, okay, I guess you will, then. Everybody loves Jell-O tapioca puddings. Put them on tomorrow's shopping list today. And remember, the big red letters stand for the whole Jell-O family of desserts. J-E-L-L. Oh, the big red letters stand for the Jell-O family. Oh, the big red letters stand for the Jell-O family. That's Jell-O. Yum, yum, yum. Jell-O pudding. Yum, yum, yum. Jell-O tapioca pudding. Yes, sir. And now back to the Aldrich family. <laughs> Yes, getting back to the troubles of Henry Aldrich. Sam Aldrich and Will Brown have been shocked to learn that their sons have passed their snow shoveling on to Willie. And Henry and Homer have been tricked into whitewashing his cellar for Willie's aunt. The scene opens in her cellar. It is that afternoon. Henry, quit. Oh, gee whiz, did I get you again with the whitewash, Homer? Sure you did, darn you. Is it my fault the brush splatters? Well, look at my sweater. It's practically polka-dotted. Oh, boy, it's even in my hair. Homer, gray hair is very becoming on you. Where do I lay my hands on Willie? Look, Homer, we're practically through. Just a couple more feet of this ceiling and we're free men. Boys, how are you coming along? Coming along, Mrs. Hopkins? Well, you might say we're there. You don't say. Homer, you're as white as a sheet. Are you ill? No, ma'am. Just whitewashed. So if you don't mind, Mrs. Hopkins, now that we've finished the whitewashing... Don't you think you ought to take a little rest first? Rest? First? Yes. Before you start removing these ashes. What? What ashes? That pile right over there. Just shovel them into those barrels. But, but, but... And remember, when you've done with that, come upstairs. I got something for you. Henry, did she say ashes? Yeah. That whole pile? Yeah. Into those six barrels? Uh-huh. I'm going home. Homer, wait. Henry, I'm not going to kill myself at this stage in my life. But don't you realize Mrs. Hopkins might give us something? Henry, money isn't everything. Besides, we made a bargain with Willie. He'll sue us. Let him. I'll sue him right back. Out of my way. Homer, look out for the whitewash. Oh, boy. Homer. She was looking my shoes. Now I've got one black one and one white one. <laughs> Homer, why don't you put your other shoe in the bucket? You think I want to look ridiculous? <laughs> oh, boy. Why, yes, Mrs. Hopkins. I forgot to ask. Can either of you change a $20 bill? 20? 20? Yes, I, I need 550. Oh, boy. Gee whiz. No, we can't, Mrs. Hopkins. Oh, well, I'll get it somewhere. Thanks anyway. Henry, did you hear that? She's giving us 550. Did it sound like that to you, too? Oh, boy. Let me at those ashes. Then you're not quitting? Henry, are you crazy? That a boy, Homer. Besides, Henry, it's nice inside work. <laughs> You know, Sam, snow was never this heavy when I was a boy. Careful, Will. You're spilling it down my galoshes. Uh, wouldn't it be better for their characters if we got into your car and tracked them down and put them back on the job? No, Will. This way we'll show them how easily the job could have been done if they'd only applied themselves. Yes, but... Uh... And naturally, I don't propose to let them off scot-free. We'll charge them for doing their work for them and... Take it out of their allowances. Say, that's a good idea, Sam. How much do we charge? Oh, I'd say about 30 cents an hour would be a sharp lesson to them. 30? I can't work for that kind of money. Let's make it 50 and really teach them a lesson. We'll start shoveling. Uh, Sam. Now what? You think Henry's right? Right? What about? The sun coming out tomorrow. 
Now, Will. But the son does such a nice, clean job. Will, you're as bad as the boys. Now, keep shoveling. Uh, oh. Uh, Sam. <laughs> Will, stand back until I figure out how to straighten up. <laughs> Homer, keep working. But, Henry, my back's breaking. Listen, Mrs. Hopkins is going to pay us five fifty, right? Yeah. Just as soon as we get these barrels of ashes out to the curb, right? Yeah. Well, how else can we get them out there? Well, Henry, do you realize Mrs. Hopkins' driveway is twice as long as yours? Sure, I realize it. Now start shoveling this snow or we'll never get done. <laughs> Are we moving, Will? No use, Sam. Your car wheels just keep spinning. That's a fine thing. Here we are stuck in a ditch miles from nowhere. Well, you shouldn't have told me to take that shortcut. Now, Sam, don't go blaming everything on me. And besides, things aren't hopeless. Once we get moving and get our hands on that flamethrower, those driveways will be a cinch. Hey, Will. Look. It's a snowplow, Sam. Hey! Hello there! Stop! Stop! Hey, Mr. Orange. Gus! Will, it's Gus. A junk man? Hey, Gus, what are you doing on that plow? Driving it. In the junk business? Not anymore. Sheila decided to retire. Sheila? Yeah, my horse. She's been pulling that junk wagon, man and boy, for 15 years. Then, one day last month, she told me she was going to up and retire. She told you? Yeah. Me and Sheila was pretty close, you know. After 15 years in the junk business... She just couldn't take it anymore. The bells was giving a headache. Uh, look, Gus. Had a mite trouble here? Uh, yes, and could you haul us out of this ditch? Haul you out? Well, I might be able to. Fine. Only thing is, I'm just the driver of this plow, not the proprietor. Uh, Gus, we'd be very glad to pay you. You would? Yes. How much? Well, now... First, I'd like to point out that this ain't no ordinary plow that you're hiring. Yes, I know. It's the widest one in the state. Well, that's fine, only... There's two lanes in one fell swoop, as you might say. Gus, uh, how does five dollars sound? Five dollars, Sam? Why, it has a nice ring. How does ten dollars sound to you? Ten dollars? Now, just a minute, Gus. <laughs> Well, please march straight in here. I want a word with you. Yes, Mother, and boy, am I worn now. Henry, I haven't the least bit of sympathy for you. Mary? Yes, Mother? Will you bring Henry a nice warm glass of milk? Is he back? Mother, don't start on him until I get there. Mother, Mother, why didn't Willie do our driveway? Because, dear, your father sent him away. What? And, Henry, why you couldn't do a simple, ordinary job that your father can do in ten minutes is beyond me. Father's going to clean the driveway? Yes, dear, just as soon as he gets back from wherever he disappeared to. Oh, boy. And when he finds out that you were clearing Mrs. Hopkins' driveway, he's going to be simply furious. You heard about that? Yes, dear, your Aunt Harriet saw you. Mother, let me explain why I did it. Dear, I know why. And someday you'll learn that money isn't everything. But that's just it. We didn't get any money. What? Mrs. Hopkins wanted the five fifty for the laundry man. Henry, I don't understand a word of this. Gee whiz, all we got out of it were two Cokes and a glass of ginger ale. Flat. Here's your milk, Henry. Gee, I don't know whether I've even got enough strength to swallow. Mother, did you hear a crash outside a few minutes ago? A crash? No, dear. Well, I'm positive I heard something. Oh, dear, that must be your father. Sam? Yes, Alice? Henry, now are you going to get it? Mary, your father sounds as though he could use a glass of hot milk, too. But, Mother, just when he's going to... Mary, please get it. My goodness, I might as well be an outsider in this family. I see you're home, Henry. Yes, Father. And, Father, as soon as my mittens thaw out, I'm going to get started on the driveway. Don't bother. Sam, before you fly off the handle, why don't you... Sam, are you taking off your jacket? Father, if it'll make you any happier, I won't even wait for my mittens to thaw. 
<laughs> I'll start right now. Henry, the driveway is cleared. It is? Sam, are you rolling up your sleeve? I am. Father, if you're worried that I haven't learned my lesson, gee was I give you my word. Father, you're rolling up both your sleeves. I am. And now, Sam? Alice, uh, would you please go up to our bathroom and get something for me? You mean your razor strap? I mean the liniment. Sam. No, I never remembered snow being that heavy. Oh, gee, Father, then you're not... Henry, suppose you run upstairs and get the liniment. Yes, Father, and I give you my word. From now on, I'm going to pitch into everything. Yes, well, now let's not overdo it. Sam, I thought you controlled yourself beautifully. Alice, I couldn't very well blame Henry when... When... Yes, Sam? Alice, suppose we just forget it. Yes, dear. Did you do the whole driveway yourself? I, uh, had it done, Alice, by Gus. Gus? At a slight additional cost. But how did he do it so quickly? He had the widest snowplow in the state. What? Never mind, Alice. But, uh, you know that fence between our driveway and Kilmer's? Yes. What would you think if we removed it and widened our driveway three feet? <laughs> Boy, Willie, boy, are you a swindler tricking us into doing all that work at your Aunt Mildred's. I'll say, Willie, boy. Who's a swindler? Who's a swindler? I got that idea right out of a school book, so that makes it perfectly legal. What? Why? Sure, that one about a guy whitewashing a fence. Only, of course, I had to spruce up the idea some. Well, ladies, when it comes to jello, whether you spruce it up with extra fixings or serve it just as is, that rich fruit like jello is always tops and treats. Yes, those luscious, shimmering Jell-O desserts are lovely to look at and grand to eat in all six flavors. Strawberry, raspberry, cherry, orange, lemon, and lime. Every Jell-O flavor has that famous locked-in goodness. Flavor sealed right in by a special process so it can't get out till your first delectable spoonful. No wonder Jell-O tastes so good it makes you think of the real ripe fruit. No wonder Jell-O is America's favorite gelatin dessert. Look for those big red letters on the box. Those big red letters stand for the Jell-O family. For 39 years now, the Boy Scouts of America has carried on a program of character building and citizenship training. So this coming week, we salute 2,200,000 Boy Scouts as they go forward with their crusade to strengthen the arm of liberty. The more scouts we have today, the better citizens we'll have tomorrow. The Old Rich Family, starring Ezra Stone as Henry with Jackie Kelk as Homer, is written by Norman Tokar and Ed Juris, with music by Jack Miller. Mr. and Mrs. Aldrich are House Jameson and Catherine Roth. And this is Dan Seymour in New York saying, The Aldrich Family is brought to you by the Jell-O Family. Everyone's a Jell-O good fellow, a very good Jell-O good fellow, so rich, so tempting and mellow, J-E-L-L-O. immediately over most of these states. This is NBC, the national broadcasting company.